everyone. My name is Mrs. April Bernardo, and I'm so happy to be reading to you guys today this book called Papa's Mark, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a moment. But um, I just want to tell you a couple of things about myself. I actually live in a Dallas, Texas area, and I'm what they call a business development director for a comedian. So do you like to laugh? I love laughing. I love hearing funny jokes. And so, yeah, what I do is I connect the comedian to different organizations to let them laugh a little bit. So I have a very, very fun job. So on to this book. I selected this particular book by Gwendolyn Battle Levert because it talks about the first time someone gets the opportunity to vote. And this year, we'll be voting again for a president. And so I thought this would be a cool book to kind of introduce to everyone and to encourage your parents. Tell your parents, get out there and vote. And uh, because you learned all about it um, in this particular book. So I'll go ahead and get started. I hope you guys really enjoy it because I like this book. Daylight crept over Lamar County. Sims and his papa were going to town. The wagon went bumpity bump along the road. They passed large fields with grazing animals and small wooden houses that were still dark. As they rode, the fields became smaller and the houses closer together. Finally, they reached clusters of buildings decorated with voting posters and waving flags. This was election time. Just wanted to show you a little picture of that. Isn't that cool? Looks, yelled Sims. Vote, vote. Some simmer down, said Papa. You're awake, the sleeping dog. Sims laughed. With each bump, he bounced happily up and down in the wagon. The men in their community met once a week to talk about the election. They met in the church and at Sims' house. Sim all, Sims always stood by his Papa's side. Show you a little picture. Papa pulled up next to the general store. Jump down, said Papa. No time to waste. Smells of apples, oranges, onions, potatoes, and peppermint candy met Sims at the door. Here's the next page. Samuel T. Blow, said Mr. Jones, the storekeeper. You're highly mighty early. Morning, said Papa, our weekly shopping trip. Sims got the list. In a clear voice, Sims read, Mr. Jones, fill the box with supplies. Papa stood by looking on. Well now, said Mr. Jones, election day in a few weeks. You folks must be mighty proud. History in the making right here in Lamar County, said Papa. Everybody stopped. Papa was a man of few words, but when he spoke, it was important. My Papa couldn't vote, bless his soul, but he knew if not in his time, in my time. Sims looked up and smiled. That's everything on the list. Not yet, said Papa. Do you want a piece of candy? And take a voting poster too, said Mr. Jones. Yes, sir, said Sims. Thank you kindly, Mr. Jones, said Papa. He picked up the box. Sims trailed behind him. Samuel T. called Mr. Jones. Put your mark here. Papa turned around. Every Saturday, Sims watched Papa put an X on the pad. Sims' gaze fell to the floor. Come on, Sims, said Papa, moving toward the door. They rode home in silence. After the wagon stopped, Sim said, Papa, let me show you how to write your name. Then you'll never have to make that X again. Sims, you got work of your own, said Papa. Now help me carry these groceries inside. So you see that Sims and his Papa, and that's their little house that they lived in. Can you believe people lived in those kind of houses back then? That night, the men huddled around the kitchen table. 
Sims looked into scared faces. He listened. There is trouble brewing, one man said in a low voice. Some folks don't want us voting. Freedom don't come easy, said Papa. My Papa taught me that you go on or die, said another. Sims stood up and waved a voting poster. I'm helping, said Sims. Every house gonna get one of these. The men laughed. The meeting went on. Sims went to his room to make more posters. And it says, vote, vote. See that? Just remember at one point in time, people uh, that look like me and you couldn't vote. Soon Papa called, morning comes early, get in bed. All right, said Sims, blowing out the light, twisting around the sheets and blankets went all wish, witch away. The golden glow flowing from the kitchen, the short and tall shadows moving, and the mumbling voices kept Sims awake. Tiptoeing up to the door, Sims saw Papa hunched over some paper. Sims is supposed to be in bed, but he wanted to see what was going on with Papa and see what Papa was doing. It'll get better, Samuel said Mama. This writing looks like chicken scratch said Papa. <sighs> Mama laughed softly. Well, mine looks like red hot chili peppers. The letters jump all over the paper. When I vote, said Papa, I'm going to write my name to get my ballot. What are you doing, said Sims, jumping into the light. So that's, that was Mama and Papa. Papa looked up. Sims ran back to his room and leaped into the bed. Papa, my eyes just keep popping open, called Sims. Papa walked in. He pulled a homemade quilt around Sims. Sleep came. Before school, Sims wrote Papa's name perfectly. He left the paper on the kitchen table. That night, Sims peeked around the door as Papa worked. He saw Papa try to copy his clear, neat lines. But in the morning, Sims saw chicken scratch. This is Sims and his papa. A few days later, Sims found papa at the table. Sims, come over here, said papa. I just can't seem to write the letters like you do. Can you help? I sure can. Sims got at his papa's hand across the paper. Papa watched every curve. I can read my name, said papa. Now I'm going to write it with your help. Every night, papa hunched over the table slowly tracing the curves of his name. Every morning, Sims checked Papa's paper. Yeah, so this is kind of cool that his son, Sims, was helping his own Papa write his name. So that's why it's important for you guys to be able to write your names. I'm sure you can write it very, very, in a great way. All right, soon election day was just around the corner. After school, voting posters were hammered on every house and tree. Even the animals had posters hung around their necks. It's an exciting day. It's time to vote. And they have all of those voting signs. You probably see that sometimes, right? When it gets ready to, uh, when it's time to vote. The night before the election, the church was full of men. Who's going to go with me to vote? Asked Papa. The men mumbled and groaned. No one agreed to come. A tall man said, we all got families. Who's gonna take care of them if we go? It's just one day, said Papa. They'll be fine. Some folks mighty angry, another man said. We're scared what they might do. Everyone muttered agreement. Papa said, we go in peace. We go in unity. The room was silent, Sim said. Papa, I'll go with you. The men left. The meeting ended. So this, these kind of meetings actually took place as my kids would say, back in the 1900s, quite a bit. <laughs> Where people were trying to figure out if they really wanted to try to vote for the first time. Morning came. Papa and Sims were quiet as they got ready to go to town alone. Then Sims heard voices outside. Samuel T, Samuel T. 
Papa opened the door. There sat a wagon full of men. Come on, they said. We go in unity. Sim shamed us. The wagon took off up the road. Thumpity thump, bumpity bump. Hours later, they made it to town. The wind howled like a blare of bugles. The flags flapped like snare drums. Folks crowded the streets. Sims didn't recognize their hard faces. Papa got out of the wagon first. So guess what? The men decided to be brave and follow Papa to go vote because they know how important it is. Isn't that exciting? I can't wait to see what happens. <clears throat> Out of the crowd, Mr. Jones, the storekeeper, Samuel T., he said, I'm voting with you. The two men walked together across the town square in the courthouse. So these men are ready. They're ready to go vote. You see that? I'm Samuel T. Blow, said Papa. I'm come to vote. Make your mark, said the clerk. Sim said, my papa can sign his name. Papa wrote his name. The clerk handed him a ballot. Papa made a choice. Then he said, Sims, come over here. Let's put the ballot in the box together. Sims grinned. Papa voted. Lamar County changed. Oh my goodness. Guys, I really, really hope that you enjoy this book. Um, if you get a chance, again, encourage your parents to go vote and then ask them if you can go too so you can see what the voting process is all about. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this book and take care. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.